Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bantrush video. So today we're going to be looking at the Thousand Sunny Map, the latest map that just released. Um, I have a lot of thoughts, but you know, with this, I guess, you know, new addition to the uh, series, I'm not like trying to tell you how to play on this map, but I'm just, you know, gonna show how the attackers, the runners, and the defenders fare. I would say, yeah, this is definitely mostly a runner map. You can see how uh, far and wide, like, the treasures are spread. So, to play an attacker, I mean, you are yeah, really relying on your mostly defenders or your runners. But yeah, definitely your runners, because you can only just try and assist them. Or if you get unlucky, like I am here, you know, with Prosper. I uh, this match, I got like, but even Hab Yamato is able to bully Prosper, man. It, it's just, it's just insane. He has fallen off from grace. So I was thinking, like, because I could go with like EX attackers like a Roger or Pro Shanks and just like uh, all the other like um, EX runners like Kaido as well. And then like, because I just wanted to show it a particular color, I chose green. But I all, I'm also thinking I could go with uh, all the colors and just showcasing attackers, defenders, you know, from all different colors. But I hope you guys, you know, will enjoy this. So yeah. This uh, kneecap player was killing us, and the team was dominating, as you see. But you know, all it takes to win one game in these types of maps is having the right character, right situation. Mainly the runners; they can change this uh, game in this map anytime. So you see, they got us fought down. They got a bottom flag there, and then they got the top flag. Yeah, those two flags. So it's looking like bad for us, but the team is able to, you know, keep getting flags because their defender is not staying in the flag and it's not like in the place where, you know, we are like trying to gather a lot, so that's a problem. But I think here, yeah, like if you want to play on this map, there's like basically two strategies you would go for. Like those B and D at the top is definitely like important treasures and then you can leave at least one of your team to uh, just even guard their spot flag because if you get that uh, flag even if it's far for your team if like two of you stay there um, you will be fine because most of the people really just like to camp around at mid keep trying to get it and it can be advantageous to you if you just focus at the, at the top flags yeah, that, that was the match winning scenario there knocking back that luffy and look at the team just left that luffy i don't know what they were doing but they lost themselves this match easily we, we could have lost it if that other luffy <laughs> stayed and didn't leave actually. but yeah we got the w there so runners definitely very good in this map i couldn't get like a solo gameplay for pro spell or Odin in this map it is just a yeah, nightmare because the matching like is not on your side but for somehow travel, like I got lucky. You see there, there's a Bellamy and there's three game five. I'm surprised that we won, but our team it was pre staked. There's an Alba, a Big Mom, and Happy Kylo, as well as like a gear five Luffy. So there's a lot going for us there. But I am like not looking like to stay on my first flag and defend. Because I saw like my team was struggling there and I thought. I could get that Bellamy in time, but since, you know, this uh, Bellamy is a lower tier character, I can, with treble, uh, put on the bully threat. I just need to remove that nullify stagger, and then I can, you know, combo him with my normal attacks. This is not a good strategy, because you see, like, as a defender, I'm not doing that much damage. I'm not fighting on my flag. I, I'm doing one, of course. But you can see, like, the big mom is having a uh, dominating time that the, the bottom able to hold three of them two gear fires and out, but while I'm just here and solo with uh, the Bellamy. And then, yeah, the, the team is not even focusing on that flag there, which is really good because if I have that on top of you know the two flags, uh, yeah, we already have. I can just, you know, stay there, but the team is even, uh, they kept that spawn flag, the team boost has wiped all of them out pretty easily. But, 
they're still struggling for me. And that <laughs> Shanks just wiped out that Luffy out there. So I didn't want to stay here for too long. I went to that other flag because I felt it's more important. Because if the enemy tries to come here and think it's a free flag, I'll you know push uh, to stop them. Even if they try to go there. Because treble skills are long range as a defender. I can, you know, still target you if you try to push. Like you see this Luffy? Can't escape. Then we continue one, two, one, two, and then yeah, he's dead. Even if he tries to dodge. At gear 5 comes in to swipe him out of the game. And yeah, it's pretty good. Like, defenders are not bad. I think if you can, like, try to stay at mid or try to prioritize this bottom two flags. I think that's the only two strategies you could do for this map. And also, if your team just sells, I mean, there's nothing you can do. Just try to bring the runner and play Trans of Treasure in this map. And yeah, you will see what you can do. With attackers, you, you just need to pray. Like, you're killing... The right people at the right times because you don't fill in the gauge out of 50%, you can't cap, you just have to make sure that you make your runners cap if you have any, and you make your defenders feel their flanks if they are in. That was a clutch dodge there because I was able to not get knocked back. If Gear 5 not be back, I wouldn't be able to stand up just in time to stop him from capping that flag since he was still full HP. And yeah, that's Treble. I mean, the first game I played with him, I got this was that. I was like, what? Is Treble still meta? <laughs> sure, because, you know, he is, he's lacking some traits that, you know, the recent defenders are getting, like ignoring the gauge where the enemy is in the flag. But yeah, he can still remove um, the runners from the flags with a steady hit. But the thing is, is also his damage is like, especially in this era where Claw has defense buff and gear 5 is a defense buff and Zoro counters you as well. Alba can counter you as well. And Treble is not in like a, a really good place, I would say. But they're still usable, definitely. So I try to target that Cyber Queen. I get the position, but you know, sometimes these skills, they target other enemies. And this Queen manages to escape and perfect dodge the Bajoran gun. And I can't get him now. But he's dead from the Kamunari there. Then they keep spamming their skills there. So I just say, maybe I should lift that flag because I can't do anything to give out with Prospero because it, it's just a nightmare. But I think, I'll, let me know if you guys want to see this series like with just EX or Pantifest unit or units that don't just get gameplays a lot. I think this is pretty good. Like, sharing my thoughts on how I should... Uh, maybe give some advice with the map yeah. I think it will be a work in progress for sure like uh, this type of series but this is still good getting the W using the map to your advantage is also really good we're getting that delay there but Kyle didn't get hit because he used that invincibility and look at that unlucky move. yeah even in that first game when I was in the Sparrow Sparrow and Odin team I was getting killed like every second bro like they just one skill, death. One skill, death. It's so disgusting. Even with using, you know, the Halo to see something percent support that both makes, all of them boost too. Still hard. So hard. And that log gets that kill because I can't hit the gear fire. A, a big log. Mm -hmm. And then on to stopping this Kaido. Kaido is a problem because he heals you, he blocks you, and then he can just keep pressuring you, give you that amount of damage. But he ran away. He could have killed me for sure if he wanted to. You see, Kaido is very effective here. Because since the, when he's teleporting, he goes far away. Like, you can't like just catch him and sneak him up unless you're on that flag. Oh, I leg dodge there. That was a bit of an energy dodge, but luckily I got the... Do perfect dodge because my connection sucks as always then we get him just in time I thought he would dodge earlier but you know he couldn't dodge the bait works and then the candy is like too slow to win. maybe I should run some more nodes on Perispell but I hope you guys you know enjoyed the gameplay you know, you know my thoughts on this map it's like my least favorite map but 
it's good enough. Like, if you're using Remus, you can get the lot of wins from, uh, from this man. The A5, Big Bang, they are good because they can beat Remus at any time. But that 150% gain is just, you know, can change the momentum if there's a lot of defenders in this game. So, yeah, you will see the support and everything. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.